Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting here in my woman cave. I have all the little things around me, but I have my old, well, it's not old, it's this year's Hobonichi Weeks. And this is the Hobonichi Weeks that I started off with. It's a mega. And I bought it to repurpose and I really still love it. <laughs> I started it off, um, you know, these are the incorrect months. This is a 2020 and I got it on sale. So I kind of fell off in March of 2021, but I went in, I think, June of this year and I bought the regular Hobonichi Weeks, not the Mega. So at first I was using it for affirmations, prayers, marriage, active service, confessions, access service for my husband and then I went back into using it like I normally do. I did a few weeks of horizontal which you guys saw plan with me. This is a totally separate weeks. Um, it's a mega but I don't know. <laughs> I love to write and I just today um, was just kind of doing like a mock-up to see how I would like putting my to-dos here and seeing it crossed out in like a week and then decorated like this. So I decorated that the next week in here and I'm just leaving this upstairs, honestly. The whole purpose of why I got this in the first place was for my 2021 word, which was improve. And when you look at the word improve, it says to boost, to refine, to upgrade, enhance. What I did was I made goals around that and I said I wanted to boost my faith, refine my marriage, upgrade me, enhance my parenting. I think I will still keep those same concepts and take them into 2021, 2022, excuse me. And so that's one of my favorite pictures of me last year. I got my reminders and then I was just using it. I always use the weeks the same, um, but yeah, just stuff you know bullet journal same same way I use my commonplace books journaling podcasts um list and notes and stuff like that so I have this right here available I gave my daughter the book once and she wrote in all of those pages so I still have you know a good amount so if I like to also punch the weeks and put them into my ring planners so more than likely that's probably what i will do with the rest of these weekly and daily pages for 2022 if and when i use a weeks so i also have this really cute a6 motorm that i turned into a traveler's notebook so um how you do that is to just get a placemat a plastic thing um people have gotten acetate before and you just punch holes i punched holes with a leather punch and just string in some strings and then there you have it these are filled note size um little inserts i wanted to deck it out in fall just for fun and so that is a grid and then this is a um <laughs> the reward nothing jesus loves you uh it kills me when i do that it's funny so I've used this before as a faith-based one. And then I have this right here. Uh, my friend Danny from Danny Planorama gave me an A6 leftover Techo. I end up cutting it down to a field note size so I can stick it in the back like so. Am I using this? No, I guess I should have titled this video things that I like to set up and then just kind of put back on the shelf. But I really like this because um, it's portable. It's a nice option for a field note size. I say field note size. It's not a pocket. It's three and a half by five and a half. So I've um, like right here is an A6 size. And then this is like the field note size. So I don't have my tripod, but let me see if I can. I've cut down this leather so many times this leather traveler's notebook uh let's see so 
you could see the size difference right there from the top and the side. It's just a tad smaller than A6. Um, so I did the same thing with this. This is, was a ring planner. I put rings in it before. It was a whole, it was a wide. So I cut it down from a wide to like a standard to like a B6 and then fine, I mean, to a personal. And then I finally made it like a little pocket, but it looks funny because the holes are right there. But if you line it up correctly, I mean, it's definitely a cute little cover that I can use. So I don't really have this one completely set up, but that's just there. I just have stuff around here. I was using these stickers and post-its to play with my weeks. But another one I do have set up <laughs> is a standard size. Y'all know I love my standard. It's in the Boss Bay Madison um, Foxy Fix, and it is... It's one of my favorite, favorite TNs. I will never get rid of this one. Um, Foxy Fix. I don't know where they are. I don't think they're ever returning, but I do own a few and I will definitely um, keep those. So right up front, I have just like um, journaling, prayers, things like that. Um, I made this little nice... Um, dashboard out of some pretty paper laminated it I put a pocket because this is something I created for my personal size planner before so I just kind of have it stuck in there remember as far as anyone knows we're a normal family <laughs> this is also one of my favorite little uh, week on a page um, traveler's notebook inserts okay, they just really mimic the Hobonichi um, weeks but a lot bigger in size so as you can see I've had this since like 2019 <coughs> I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> and thank you to someone that said bless you because <laughs> I'm sure there's someone out there that did um so I like using this and just for years upon years like right here is where I'm at in the book and I would just definitely um, pull it back. Let's see if I could do it, guys. Yay. Um, and use it, you know, over and over again. So I've got some page flags here. Um, I really love this paper. It's like, a, it looks like, I don't want to say, it's just like leaves, I think. Uh, this is like old school. I think this was Creative Keo right here die cut I don't know what this came from maybe it was her but I've had this for a long time and I made it at like a Heidi swap little card this next one is a moleskin I've used this as like a reference planner I've cut it down I've used it to do projects and things in our house um, counseling notes uh, when I was doing some kind of red aspen stuff I joined it just so I can get nails <laughs> and then I canceled it. Um, some things for the kids. And so I just labeled it as home stuff because I think that would be, you know, appropriate. And these stay up here. These, um, these uh, TNs, I mean, I have a whole bunch upstairs. So I mainly come in here to play. Um, so... Yeah, they kind of stay up here. The last one is another one of my favorite, favorite inserts. You can get it on, um, on Amazon. It looks like so. And um, it's really nice because it's like a daily. And it's undated, so they look like this. Right? AM, PM, and lines. Y'all know I love lines. Um, so I just kind of do that. I use it as like pretty planning and I put stickers everywhere. I journal, I put things. Uh, last time I used this was last year in, uh, oh look, September 22nd. Isaac is online today because of the rain. Film plan with me. Homeschool between 1130 and 3. Talk to clinical director. Set up appointment for shots. Functional stickers. Now was it 2020? Yeah, it was 2020. So when I want to use it again, I can either go like that and just start fresh or I could do it there. 
but I love this book. It's um, it's a very useful book for a daily, in my opinion. And then after that, that's all I have. So these are the few little books that I have just lying around. And I really, really, really <clears throat> enjoy them. <coughs> now I'm going to start coughing because I started sneezing, which is weird. Um, so I just wanted to show you what was going on. Um, in terms of just having things set up and just flipping you through. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. God bless you.